I mean, Tuesday. Am I right? That was crazy. The trailer just dropped out of nowhere. Anyways, anyways, you know, some of you right now are lost and be like, huh? Others may understand, but don't get the full picture yet. And that's what we're here to do. The trailer had so many Easter eggs and dropped so much lore on us. And I'm here to help break it all down. However, before any of that, let me remind you, only a small percentage of you guys actually subscribe, so please do subscribe. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Anyways, enjoy. <laughs> Our first one is Sonic Rail Grinding, which is a really common thing throughout the game as seen here. Next, Prison Island, which is very interesting because Shadow was not seen in Prison Island originally. We'll touch on more of that later with how this could have caused Shadow to awaken. Our next reference comes from Sonic Adventure 2, which is the notorious Prison Island. It's known for where Sonic was locked up and basically Gerald's death. Now, in addition to that, it is also known for the faker scene in the jungle next by to it. Another interesting thing is that the gun commander's outfit is exactly like how it is in the games. I love how they're still paying tribute to the games that way. Anyways, following this, we get a reference to the Chow Garden with the Chow Garden Cafe, which is referencing the Chow Garden from SA2. Sega, please bring back the Chow Garden. Now the next couple references really go with Shadow and his past, such as the structure, which is believed to be the arc in some form or way. Other things are Maria, his childhood friend, the death of Maria, another plot point in his history. Oh yeah, and his very, 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 very cool motorcycle. Like, dude, we need that as a toy. And basically, after that, that's really it for our references. So, moving on. Of course I'm the most valuable player. Alright, so like all the other tales, the story starts in Green Hill with Sonic and his friends just hanging out, having fun with each other. Then we get a scene with Tom being like a dad, giving him a life lesson. Basically, what's going to be the moral of the story in reality. Then it cuts to probably Prison Island, where Shadow is revealed to be kept there. And he breaks out, stops all the gun soldiers and is able to escape to what I believe will be the city of Tokyo. Once he arrives, he starts creating havoc across the city. The gun commander calls Sonic Tails and Knuckles. They go after Shadow. They find him, and they're ready to face him. They prepare to face him, but end up being brutally destroyed by him. The fight continues in Tokyo, where Sonic and his friends still stand no chance against Shadow, the ultimate life form. It seems that they lose, they are abandoned by gun, and must retreat to another option, joining Robot. Now this is a pretty risky idea, being what happened with Knuckles and Eggman last time, but Eggman then asked for something crazy, a quill from Sonic, which will be probably a bigger plot point as we go down the story. Anyways, Eggman suits up, he gets his normal look back, and he joins Sonic for the fight. They then decide to research and go and find Gerald Robotnik's lab, where he is found to be alive. Now I feel Gerald has a bigger plot point here, which I'll explain in the next section of this video. Gerald may unfold to us the tale of Shadow and what happened to him and his whole story. After that, it appears Shadow awakens what could be the Ark, and we end up in the final stages towards the final battle. Sonic and his friends rush in there preparing to fight Shadow and it ends up losing big time. And then the final battle be- All right, plot points. I think these are important parts of the story that could possibly happen. The first is Eggman's betrayal once again. Being that he was given Sonic's quill, so much could happen, such as his betrayal, building a Metal Sonic, and another arc in the Sonic Movie 3 universe. Next is the Tom arc, which is a heavy one because it could bring a big impact in Sonic's character and story. Tom seems to become a gun agent in the story and seems to get hurt badly. Sonic may feel his pain, 
and have one determination, and that's to defeat Shadow the Hedgehog and ignore all his friends, all warnings, and jump into conclusions too quickly. Many are predicting Tom will die. I don't think so. He's too big of a character to die. And our last plot point is with Tails. He seems to not like any of this that's going on with Sonic and the Doctor. He seems to leave them and move on to do whatever he thinks is right. So who's to say? This could all possibly never happen. I could get the story completely wrong, or I can get it completely right. We don't know. In the meantime, let's just sit back and anxiously wait for the Sonic Movie 3's release. I just want to